Flow is a state where we're responding to an intrinsic inner motivation. It's based on something that you feel is important and needs to be done, not because you're getting paid for it, but because it feels like the right thing to do. It is a state that is natural and effortless. It takes zero effort to be in flow, which is the great thing about it, because really all you need to do to achieve flow is to take a deep breath, and breathe out and so flow is a state that can be accessed and intensified through a practice of meditation or mindfulness essentially by focusing on your breath and on being instead of doing you embody this inner state of flow and flow is often referred to as being in the zone of a state of being completely immersed with an activity that you're doing but it also references a state of energy it is a state of energy and motivation it is not just being calm it's being calm yet motivated you know, it's like when the hero surrenders to a situation, realizes what needs to be done, and goes forward and does it, essentially. Putting forward everything that they are, just the way that they are, no more, no less. There is no should, no must, no force, no pressure in being in flow. Flow is a reflection of you, the totality of you, who you are and what you can and your personality everything that you have inside of you, no more, no less, essentially. It is a natural state, so it reflects you being in tune with yourself, with your body, and with who you are. So if you're not in tune with your body, you're not in a state of flow. It is also a state of comfort or peace. Essentially, what you see is that you are extremely comfortable with the situation and what's happening around you and now when we talk about a so-called flow type a person that is always in a flow or always appears to be in flow or at least knows how to move in and out of flow whenever they need to what we see is this that no matter how stressful the situation is they are in this state where they are not bothered by what's happening they don't get bothered in a sense by difficult things and difficult events for them it is a part of life so a flow type a person that's in flow and really good at having and maintaining this state is somebody that is unbothered by stress stress happens and stress is a part of life it is not something to be fought against nothing to be angry about nothing to get really upset about if difficult projects and difficult problems emerge a person who has a strong ability to maintain flow will stay calm and will recognize that this is okay and stress that is perceived as manageable does not hinder or disrupt flow flow people or people that have very high levels of flow people that have very high levels of flow uh, can handle levels of stress as long as they don't become bigger than this. Essentially, if the flow starts to come over here, well, the flow is disrupted, essentially. So if your level of calm and focus is strong enough, nothing should really bother you about what's happening in the world. And here often the thing is, but what if you should be bothered? What if things are going to hell? What if nothing is working? What if you're in pa panic? Well, even more reason to try to find that state of sin, right? Because it is also what helps you overcome stress. When stress is perceived as unmanageable, it disrupts our behavior, causing us to enter into a state of panic or frenzy, where we do stupid things a lot of the time, right? Now, essentially... Taoist philosophy is a great gateway drug to flow. So if you're trying to find flow, I recommend reading the works of Lao Tzu and the works of the Taoists because what they are emphasizing on is this effortlessness of life, of going with the flow rather than fighting against it. Essentially what you want to do 
is you want to find a way to move in harmony with life and the things that happen around you. Now, when difficult things happen, often there is a desire to resist the action, to resist or fight back. But what this leads to is putting you in a state of inner and outer conflict. So, essentially, that is the flow state. Are you in flow right now, or do you feel like flow is easy for you? Let me know in the comments down below, and thank you so much for watching.